Today we find ourselves in Boulder City, Nevada, visiting a place that I've been wanting to visit for quite some time. And that, my friends, is Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. I cannot wait for this. Basically, there's screen use collectibles on the inside, full-sized costumes and monsters, as well as custom creations of Tom Devlin's mastermind, spooky mind himself. So let's go inside take a look at this place before we go inside let's check out some of the things they have here out front looks like they got a couple different hearses and a lot of pumpkins if you know anything about us you know that Jessica is obsessed with pumpkins and right here they have a giant hearse filled with just that actually Jack O'Lanterns looking beautiful Jessica but I came for the pumpkins hey me too look My pumpkins, back up this place is filled with them too many pumpkins. There's never too many pumpkins. On the side of the building facing the street is this giant sign saying Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. And because of lights, I'm guessing it lights up at night. So we're going to go ahead and call that a marquee. But check this out. We love photo opportunities. This one is just awesome. It parked right outside on the side of the building is this beautiful hearse. It's really making me miss the one that Jessica and I used to have. I love that the license plate says R.I.P. R.S.V.P. I can already see that the hood is painted. That's beautiful. Look at this thing, and there's a casket on the top. Screw going on the inside. Let's walk around it. Oh man. Beware. Beware. This thing is beautiful. Yeah. Check that out right there by the hearse. I mean, you know, by the coffin. Beware of vampire. That, my friends, is an actual coffin on top of this thing. Can you imagine this driving down the street in your hometown? Experience our world famous dark ride. Welcome to the world famous Monster Museum. Perfect. Look at that spooky woman with such a spooky dark ride. Oh man, I'm a lucky boil. And of course, with everything going on, you have to wear masks inside the Tom Devlin's Monster Museum. We're okay with that. Jessica's over there looking at some merch to buy and something popped out and caught my eye over here in the corner. Before we get to it, the sign here says Spider Gremlin. Gremlin to the new batch. And check this out. This is the original rod puppet used in the film. And the only remaining Spider Gremlin as the animatronic version was burned on set. Oh, for the love of Pete. That is magnificent. choice graphic orgies of blood and violence all right this has been a long time coming and i'm so ready for it the entrance to the monster museum this kind of reminds me of like an old school dark ride fun house oh it's dark and creepy in here what's this say welcome our mission is to preserve the art and history of special makeup and effects.
Photos and videos are permitted. We just ask, please, no flash. Don't touch the monsters and they won't touch you. And have a great time with the creatures, cadavers, freaks, and creeps. That's a creepy hand. Oh my word. Just walking in here and just seeing how beautiful this place is. Wow. Hey Jessica, did you see an Osferatu? Yeah. Over here in the corner? Yeah. Up here on the wall they have the hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh my. That's just beautiful. And it just goes on and on. I love that the very first thing that you walk into is Dracula, there's Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, and Jack Pierce who created a lot of the makeup. Look at him. I love that this place is rather quiet. You can just kind of walk through and just be thoroughly creeped out. Look at him. On to the next room. We have the mummy. And the wolfman. That's just amazing. Plan 9 from outer space. Vincent Price. I'm not sure if those are actual you know, life and death masks, but they look amazing. And here's one over here for Alfred Hitchcock. Monster Museum would not be complete without a creature from the Black Lagoon. Life-size figure here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That's intense. They even have some Planet of the Apes stuff over here. I'm talking the original Planet of the Apes, not Tim Burton, little art piece there. A little hard to see because it's so dark. Let's get a little closer. Oh my. Just take a minute and just take that in for what it is. Look how beautiful that is. And it's massive, too. The name of Tom Devlin may or may not ring a bell to you, but if you are a fan of the TV show Face Off, he was a contestant in season one. And this was his creation. Teddy told me to. All right, this is pretty intense. This entire walkway is filled with screen used creations. All right, let's just delve into it. Right here at the get go, they have a sign that says, Troma's three rules of production. One, safety to humans. Number two, safety to people's property. And number three, make a good movie. And that my friends is right above this wonderful Troma classic that I absolutely love, Poltergeist. That's right. You heard me right. Poltergeist, Night of the Chicken Dead. Look at this stuff. All screen used. See the mask right there? And then there's more. There's artwork. 
but I saved the best one for last. Look at this incredible piece of beauty. Next up in the showcase is another interesting movie called Killjoy. Again, all screen used. Just look at this stuff. Oh wow! This one here even has all the little animatronic and wires attached to it. This is all amazing. Right? He can just walk through here. This is intense. There's a mask from the movie Freak Show. There's one over here, Princess of Mars. I haven't seen that one, but check this out. Mega Piranha. Oh man, you guys are gonna recognize these ones. We come down here. Do you remember a little movie called Gingerbread Man? There we go. Gingerbread Man, I'm sorry, Gingerbread Man versus Evil Bong. Yep, there's the Evil Bong. Here's a display for a movie called Ouija's Hallowed Night. Never heard of it, but you know what? I think after seeing these creatures, I have to watch it. This is the kind of monster movies that I absolutely love. These things are beautiful. Oh man, look at that. Incredible. And we saved the best part, in this case, for last. Puppet Master actual heads of Blade right below him. There's Blade as well with the hat. But what's absolutely incredible, I gotta back up for this. They actually have, well he actually has Tom Devlin. Andre Toulon's case. That's insane. And it's filled with all the little puppet master people. Look at them. Wow. And if we come over this way, there's little puppet master parts. Oh, look how sad he looks. Incredible. Oh, there's the gunslinger. He's back there hidden. You can kind of see him in there, but there's his gun. And if we come down here, recognize these guys. And just wait, there's more, there's more. It's like he has the whole darn collection here. Incredible. Turn the corner and there's a giant sign on the wall that says obey. And if you know anything about horror, you know we're talking about John Carpenter's They Live. I love it. Is that cotton candy that I see right down there on the ground? Which can only mean one thing. You know how much we love killer clowns from outer space. There they are right there. Oh man. These guys are beautiful. Before we leave this room, there's one more classic trauma movie over here in the corner. And that, my friends, is the Toxic Avenger. In the next room, we start off with Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love how they have all this stuff on display here. It's phenomenal. 
And I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but they are all life-sized figures. Larger than life. And just beautiful. They have a little wooden shack area here. It says, turn back. I don't think we can do just that. Look at this thing. It's Jason Voorhees. A little hard to see back there, but by the naked eye, it's phenomenal. Over here in this corner, they have some good guy dolls. None of these ones have been screen used. They've been pretty good about putting signs up saying that this one has been screen used, this one hasn't, but still, it's his own collection. It's his personal collection. And I'm telling you what, I am jelly. There's a little creature here from the movie Critters 2. We're gonna sweep the room here. There's Ash from the Evil Dead and that creepy deer that's on his wall. The Leprechaun, played by Warwick Davis. And then over here, my favorite boogeyman of all time, Michael Myers, complete with a pumpkin. That's something you don't really see in any kind of like horror museum or a wax museum. A little spot here devoted to The Hills Have Eyes and Michael Berryman. Such a nice guy. We met him, what, last year, two years ago at a horror convention? Sat and talked with him for quite a while. Brilliant dude. This ghost face mask looks pretty old, but it doesn't have anything that says screen use, but reading the placard here, it says that this is Tom's original ghost face mask from 1994, which was purchased two years before the movie Scream would hit theaters. It looks creepy. It looks like it belongs here. No wonder they used that for the Scream movies. A little section over here for Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger, you know, played by Robert England. Looking pretty menacing. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really loving the Nightmare on Elm Street corners that they got going on here. And right down here, the Robert England signature. What looks to be the last room here has to be my favorite. You need a medical supply. You need it. We got it. None larger. Here's from Return of the Living Dead. I gotta back up just so you can just see how massive and how awesome this thing is. That's just cool. Over here in this corner, they have a little display devoted to Tim Curry and his portrayal of Pennywise, the dancing clown from Stephen King's It. You know what? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the new It with Skarsgård, but Tim Curry is always going to be the scariest of them all. Growing up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, George Romero, Night of the Living Dead, and his other movies, pretty much everything that this man has ever done, Will always hold a special place in my heart. I just love everything about it. There's a little section here devoted to Night of the Living Dead and Romero himself. And if we turn the corner, just look at that. That's amazing. To the left of the tombstone, I can already see the exit sign, which means we are at the very end. And in my opinion, save the best thing for last because I absolutely love the movie Creepshow. And here's the ticket booth for Creepshow. The most fun you'll ever have being scared. Wow. Jessica, every video I have to say it. I want this in our house. Without a doubt, Tom Devlin's Monster Museum here in Boulder City, Nevada is everything that I thought it would be. It was filled with creations that were original and spooky. And you could tell that there was a whole bunch of love in this museum. If you do find yourself here in Boulder City, Nevada, and you want to have some spooky fun and get some good pictures and talk to some really good people, again, thank you, Tom's dad, for telling us stories. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day.
I bet not always a common way. 